fact that whether the election commission has issued the notification, uh, which is uh, a notification which, as a procedure, has to be given to uh, the governor, who then uh, looks at the number. Anant, uh, in fact, we can uh, see Mulan Singh Yadav now uh, getting out from his car and actually entering uh, the governor's residence there. Um, that meeting that's been anticipated for a while now. We had reported earlier that this meeting was, in fact, going to take place at 6 o'clock. And, in fact, it's just five minutes past the hour. And we're seeing uh, Mulayam Singh Yadav making that all-important call on the state governor. Anant, of course, uh, it's been interesting to see the developments within the Samajwadi party, the clamor, in a sense, for Akhilesh Yadav to take over the reins, in a way, uh, from his father, uh, of course, perhaps too early to speculate, but how is all this being viewed? Well, yes, uh, many people uh, in the party, including several MLAs, credit Akhilesh Yadav for this uh, absolute majority win for the Samajwadi party. So clearly, yes, there is a sense that emerges from various party men that uh, he should uh, inherit uh, his father's political legacy. And this is his time because he is at, his, at the peak of his political performance over here. So that is an obvious expectation of many people, even within his party. However, whenever we pose this question to any of these MLAs who visited today the party office to meet Mulayam Singh Yadav and Akhilesh Yadav, the response that came across Ankita was that uh, it is at the end of the day Mulayam Singh Yadav's decision whether he wants to continue, uh, he wants to take oath as chief minister, or perhaps whether it is time for him to actually uh, formally. Uh, you know, uh, pass on the mantle to Akhilesh Yadav and let him lead the state. If Akhilesh Yadav does become the chief minister, uh, then at the age of 38, he will be perhaps one of the youngest chief ministers uh, in the, the state, uh, in the country perhaps of any uh, any uh, state across the country and uh, with the, and the biggest state of obviously uh, and the most popular state, Ankita. But, uh, uh, you know, there are several various people that need to be taken on board as far as uh, this decision is concerned. There are people like Azam Khan, people like uh, his own brother Shivpal Yadav, Mulan Singh's brother, who need to perhaps clearly pitch for Akhilesh Yadav. And uh, these are the people, when we talk to them, they say that uh, it is at the end of the day Mulan Singh Yadav's decision. They are not really openly pitching for Akhilesh Yadav right. as the chief minister. So yes, uh, arriving at a broad consensus within the party is important for them, which is why this decision has been deferred uh, by Atil Holi. This is what uh, was communicated to us by party sources that uh, only after the festival of Holi is celebrated in the state and those celebrations are over, the legislative board of the party will meet once again and make a formal announcement as to who will be the next chief minister of Uttar Pradesh. Right, Anand, but given the spectacular victory the Samajwadi party has seen, does this now mean that its leaders will perhaps look at the general